Welcome to London. Hi guys from London, good morning. I'm here because my dad is turning 70 and we are spending the long weekend together. We're gonna hit a ton of restaurants and your guys are coming along. But first I wanted to check out the Airbnb, so let's go. store display oh my god it's a big ikea bag i found great portland street we're staying in great portland street oh it's so quiet still it's like 7 a.m but it kind of feels like 5 a.m wow so quiet pretty crazy in new york at 7 a.m it's rush time, baby. But maybe I'm in the wrong neighborhood for that. I don't know. Must be. Oh, here I am. This is not an ad, by the way. Oh, I love it. I found this beautiful apartment on Airbnb. It had two bathrooms and two bedrooms and apparently everything in the apartment was non-toxic and organic, which is a plus. And they have solar panels on the roof and everything was environmentally friendly down to the coffee capsules. The location was also perfect. It was in the middle of an area called Fitzrovia in London. So we just had five minutes walk to Regent Street and uh, a 20 minute walk to everywhere else we wanted to go on this trip. While I'm waiting for my dad, in the spirit of being a model from New York, my first stop this morning is of course gonna be Whole Foods. Okay, I got the most important stuff in Whole Foods, oats, nuts, and honey, and a little green juice so that I can wake up before my dad comes. And oat milk, of course. So now I'm gonna eat and rest a little bit and then he's gonna come and we're gonna go and have lunch at the Wolseley. Okay, daddy. No scabby, ha, caviar or champagne. Okay, we're gonna go to the Wolseley. We were looking forward to dining at the Wolseley. We hadn't been there before, but it is a very well-known place in London where a lot of well-known names have their own favorite tables. It actually just opened in 2003, even though the interior and the building uh, makes it seem like that restaurant has been there forever. The atmosphere inside was lovely. We were seated in the middle of this horseshoe shape on the first floor. The place has two floors and we were excited to get eating. We ordered caviar, uh, dressed dorset crab, and prawn and avocado cocktail, and some oysters for my dad. I got a beautiful tea, look. I would say the Wolseley is the perfect place to have a tea and a little snack. Everyone is busy with their own stuff, it's hustling and bustling but in a cozy way. Our food was also delicious but it wasn't memorable, it wasn't exciting. It was fresh but nothing special about it. We enjoyed the caviar, we enjoyed 
the um, shrimp cocktail with avocado and the dressed dorsa crab. The dressed dorsa crab was definitely the juiciest, so that was my favorite. If getting seated right away is important to you, you should know that we had a reservation for 1.15 and we weren't seated until 1.30. That might be just because it's a hot spot or like, you know, an in-demand place where people are regulars and we weren't, so they treated us as such. But, you know, it's worth knowing. Okay, we just left the Wolseley. It was okay. Yeah. It was cozy in there, but it wasn't nice. amazing. We had to wait a little bit for the table and stuff. So I would, I would recommend it for like a tea uh, or a coffee and people watching, but not for a culinary experience. I just drooled. <laughs> We're gonna chill for a second and then we're gonna go back out and eat more kitchen table kitchen table is that yep. where, go where we're going now yes please kitchen table was recommended to us by our dear friend who is a very knowledgeable gourmand who loves to eat at these kind of michelin restaurants kitchen table has two stars in the michelin guide and my favorite dish was actually the first one this oyster it was an oyster taco with leaves and i also really enjoyed our second little bar snack here which was chicken skin and onions before we knew it, we were taken into the main dining room, which is what sets kitchen table apart amongst other things. It's a very small dining room and the concept is that guests are sitting around this horseshoe bar and we're watching the food being prepared the last at the last stage at least and assembled and chefs, including James Knappett, who is the founder, is taking us through some of the steps and explaining the food right then and there and um, it's really cool if you're interested in food and especially fine dining i really recommend this place a special shout out to the bread and butter it tasted like a norwegian summer day so delicious okay good evening guys this is your next course and there's scallops from the island of Orkney in scotland they're very special because they never pick them individually and we get them fresh every day you're gonna taste them in a second and here's the scallop after the scallop was actually my favorite dish in the main dining room and my dad's favorite dish was this squid with curry overall i really recommend kitchen table it was a wonderful experience where three hours just flew by the team there is extremely knowledgeable as you would expect but they also have really good vibes they love being there there's no pretentiousness so thank you kitchen table okay it's the next day we had a great time on kitchen table yesterday and now we're gonna have my dad's birthday brunch at Chiltern Firehouse. We're gonna go for burgers. Chiltern Firehouse is actually in an old firehouse from the 1880s. If you're not familiar, it is a hotel and we didn't stay at this hotel obviously, but we came for the great good time restaurant downstairs. What you just saw there was our steak tartare that we had for starters and then we also had their burger. It was excellent due to those flames on the grill. And my dad also said that he had the best Irish coffee he ever had <laughs> for dessert there. So definitely if you like see and be seen places that aren't pretentious and have a good service, good vibes, cool people, disco music, Chilton Firehouse is for you. Okay, the time has come. We're gonna visit the last restaurant of this trip. And it's gonna be a neighborhood restaurant because we're pretty, 
uh, what's the word, satisfied. Yeah. So we picked a random neighborhood restaurant called Faro's. That is just two minutes away from our Airbnb and it's an Italian place and uh, we're gonna check it out. You know how you sometimes just walk past places on the street and you feel like, oh yeah, we should go there. I'm so glad that we followed our hunch with this place, Faro's, because it was the cutest people that worked there. They were so kind to us. Shout out, out to Mehmet and Alice and I think Ryan, the trainee. My dad had the best time there. They sang the birthday song for my dad and if you go you should try the porn star martini <laughs> i wonder what it is I, I don't drink so i didn't try it but wow yeah what a cute place with good vibes again we go to good vibe places larsa fruit fruit <laughs> our pizza margarita would you like any flat, fresh black pepper or some chili over that that i'm good you want pepper like. A plus for the pizza margarita, just pure ingredients which gave a beautiful, simple and fresh taste. For our main course, we had seafood risotto for my dad and a pappardelle beef ragu for myself. They came out perfect as well and smoking hot which was refreshing. But most of all, what we're gonna remember about Faro's is, like I said, the team there. It's just so nice to be around people who are connected to their heart, really, is what it is. It Faro's Fitzrovia or Faro's Oxford Circus, I guess you could call it, or they call themselves, is a heart coherent place. Definitely visit if you're in a neighborhood. <laughs> you just said that. The shrimps are crispy. Crispy. And you love it. <laughs> we had such a great time in London. I'm really glad I took this time to hang out with my dad a little bit since I live across the Atlantic Ocean. We don't see each other that often. So this trip was really special. I'm glad I got to celebrate his 70th birthday with him. So if you're wondering if you should call up your parents and hang out with them a little bit extra, this is your sign to do so. If you're lucky enough to still have them, make some memories with them, man. I'm glad I did. Thanks, London. Happy birthday, Dad.